Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. If you notice that my rupee count is at 195, it's something that I have to complain about. Um, but anyway, let's get this area on done right here. Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. Heh <laughs> heh, look on your face. Priceless. There's hair in my pop filter. It's so annoying when dust gets on the pop filter. Yeah. I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. It's extra ordinary. I can see what you're doing through the stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A with spikies around it, you'd better push that button or else. I've put the stone on your quest status screen. Press start and use L or R to scroll around. It's pretty basic and visual. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister. So don't go losing it, you understand? Okay, we understand. Now the thing I want to complain about is that I um, forgot to start recording last time. So I was playing five minutes of Wind Waker. Um, audio was recording, but no video was recording. So I had to go back and I didn't save after I did the Nico thing. So I had to redo that, and it took me like, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. Um, but yeah, then I finally got back here and then didn't decided to did not get more rupees. But what we need to do first is we should get um, caught in the lights. Before we do anything else. Uh, you don't have to be in a barrel or anything. You could be over one too, but um, but you don't have to be. You don't have to have a barrel to disguise yourself. Um, I personally find it much easier. Oh, I was hoping that I could. <laughs> what would this barrel? Sorry, what would this barrel accomplish? It's like just kind of sitting there. <laughs> Okay. Um. I'm just gonna. Oops. I'm just gonna push this vase off. Anyway, OBS, um, studio previously known as OBS Multi Platform, uh, doesn't, like, it doesn't have a red light on the uh, recording area. Oh. They're probably gonna complain that I don't know how to do stuff. No. But it was just me trying to break a vase by pushing it off instead of throwing it like everybody else does. Anyway, it would be great if um, OBS multi-platform didn't um, always show the preview thing even when I'm not recording. Unlike the regular, what's known as OBS Classic now, what I used to use. It would be great if they didn't, um, if it didn't show the preview stuff all the time. But anyway. I'm kind of done talking about that now. In here we've got the dungeon map. Press up to view it. Green areas are ones you visited. The flashing area is your current area. Location. Tilt up or down on the control stick to view any other floors. Yay. Wonderful. Okay. 
Now over here, I don't think anything is really over here. Now I need to explain that the Forsaken Fortress is actually like a, the first time you go here is actually like a stealth place. Yeah, you go, you um, visit for the Forsaken Fortress multiple times during your journey. And it's so much fun. Ugh. Can't wait to get my sword back. But in here we have access to the compass. You got the compass. Now you can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. Press up on the D-pad to view your map and see for yourself. Sounds great. We should actually probably use it. So that's what it looks like. Those, um, those things that look like hay bales, like on the left, by that flashing area, but on the left side, the gold things, those are actually treasure chests. What we have to do in the Forsaken Fortress is kind of run around and like stop these searchlights from operating. We have to stop all of them. You can just stop some of them, but if you don't stop all of them, I know it's going to tell me about searchlights. Listen up, Link. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can lay the monster then just maybe they'll sh shut the searchlight down oh but you're ar unarmed aren't you all you have is a shield if I were you I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I could make it drop its weapon if you did that you could pick up pick up its weapon with a but the better way to do it is actually to um Just kind of run around back here. See these, um. These, uh, pots over here. They have, um. Some sticks in there. So we just kind of have to pick up a stick. Gotta play pick up sticks. The best game ever made. And just kind of slap him silly. There we go. And for that, we get something called the Joy Pendant. You got a, you got a Joy Pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pens are said to flock to those who spread joy like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. Thing is. After you do a side quest completely, or after you complete a side, a specific side quest that deals with joy pendants, they're like basically next to useless. But luckily, you can sell them and get some money for that, so that's nice. Okay, this is just. One of the same ones. I'm just going to kind of run around here. And then go into the front door. Up here. Blink will go past the wall. That happens all the time. Ugh. Now in here are rats. I'm going to take this pot and try to see if I can attack one. Nope, I couldn't. If the rats actually touch you, they'll take your um, health. 
health. Or no, they'll they won't take your health. Uh, they'll take your um. They'll take some money from you. Now these guys right here are called um. Hmm. Mini blends. They're very annoying. Until you get your sword back, that is. Oh wait, we don't. We don't have to jump up there. We just have to roll over here. Now these enemies right here are called Moblins. They're like the classic Zelda enemy that's like that like always shows up for every game and he's sticking his head through the wall, okay. That's that's wonderful. Now I just kinda want him to just walk right past me. Mm-hmm. Just keep going. Now, um, if they catch you moving, then they'll actually um, burn the barrel. They'll throw their um, lantern at the barrel and burn it. Ooh, that was close. They're quite annoying right now as guards. Well, once you get your sword back, of course, you can defeat them. There we go. Okay. Nice. Back here is a switch. And that opens up this door, which leads to a chest containing a wall, a, an invisible wall. No, it's a chest that contains the games the American version, NTSC versions first. Heart piece, or piece of heart. You got a piece of heart. Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. More heart containers equals more life. What those do is they will actually restore your health as well when you collect them. And actually when we go to the pause screen, it shows right here that we have one piece of heart. Oops, wrong button. Once we get four of those, wait, did I just waste a bunch of time? I mean, it's really not a waste of time to get a piece of heart, but what? Uh, what's going on out there? Why can I see into that other room? See that? Okay, go ahead. Put me. What? That's not fair. I was in a cutscene. I couldn't move. <laughs> now I'm down to 179 rupees. Oh, that's. I'm so bothered. Actually, can I throw a. a can I throw this at this door? Hmm. I'll meet you back to the beginning someplace better. I just got 10 rupees. I just went out this door. So my location might be a little bit different right now. However, there's a ladder right here if Link will cooperate and allow me to walk around the ladder and climb up it. There we go. 
Where's the... Where's the pot? Or the stick? There we go. Okay, and now that should stop one searchlight. So it seems like there's only one searchlight left, and it's that one right over there. That one. However, it's a little bit more difficult to get to. But that doesn't, that won't stop us from getting to it, so I will do that. I'll try to figure it out. Probably speed this part up. I'm out at the front of the area again, and this searchlight right here still exists. So, um, yeah. Actually, I think this is, this has to do with the next part. Maybe. The, um... What place is this? The Forbidden... The... Whatever this place is called. It always confuses me. The Forsaken Fortress, that's what it's called. Okay, I think this is where we need to be. Okay, yeah, whoop. Okay, now it's showing us where we need to go. Now this box right here will allow us to get back to the, um, it'll allow us to get back up there faster. But what I wanna do now is like, just kind of push it over so that it's already here. So then we can just climb back up here right away. And it just shows us on this side where we need to go. A door. Ah, I've got it, Link. In order to reach the, you'll have to find the, oh, the room right below the tower? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Okay, uh, where did I go? Mm, I think I need to go this way. Yep, yep, here we go, wait. I think... I think this is where we need to go. So we need to get a, um, put a barrel, put a barrel on our heads. Kind of run over here. I hate the rats so much in this room. They're always like, kicking me out of the barrel and then like revealing my location, it's terrible. Ugh, ugh. Anyway, now we're closer to the final destination. Link only. A few items. But up here, 
we have to put on another barrel as a disguise. And then just kind of walk over he here. And hopefully the moblin over here won't see us. That's a hopeful thing. Obviously we can't move, move now or it'll be like, oh, you're moving in a, something in a barrel is moving two inches in front of my nose because I'm a pig and I can sniff things. Well, Link isn't, but the moblins are. Moblins are pigs. Pig based characters. Now I gotta run up, run extremely fast up here. I think that's good enough for now. But basically we just run all the way up here around this bat around the back area and then just grab onto the wall somehow and siddle sidle whatever it is Blah. there's some words that bother me when people are like Oh no, it's this. Or like the word itself is something really weird. And yeah, I don't know if we can, I'm not sure if we can get to that one. Oh, we can, but I don't think we have to. So I'm just going to keep going back over here. If we have to, I'll do it, but... If we don't have to, I won't. Now up here... Is... The sword! Oh, cool! Oh no, there's spikes! And the Wokoblin woke up. You got back the hero sword you dropped. Now you're in business. Now you're playing with power. Take care not to drop it again. As far as I know, you don't drop it. Anywhere else in the game. There we go. Now the door is open. Wonder what's in here. Oh, side note, I really like the um, mini boss theme. That song that was playing when I was fighting the Bokoblin. I like that song. And it's like Link's sister and a few other characters that were taken hostage. I feel a vibration in the controller. There's something up. Oh, it's a bird. Oh no, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can defeat the bird right now. Hmm. That looks like that area would be a good boss fight area. Hmm. Too bad we can't fight the boss right now. Wait, who's that? Looks familiar, but I can't really tell. <gasps> Is that? <gasps> Is it? <coughs> they don't show his face. There's a boat. 
Must be the title boat. Must be the boat on the cover of this game. Can't be any other boat. Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. Oh, there's the sun. Uh, oh, now I'm awake. Okay. Wonder who was talking to me, though. Hmm. Well, have you come to your senses yet? Whoa, a talking boat. You're surprisingly dull-witted. Did I startle you? I suppose that's my only natural. That is only natural. As wide as the world is, I'm the only boat uh, upon it that can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link, I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand your how you. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose if you I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Kenan. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark well Realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yes. And will you do anything to save her? Yes, yes. I see, said the rod talk, red talking boat. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by w what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yes. In that case, we depart to the great sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am d indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat w with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal with a, in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. The, this island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sail must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you might need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Now this is a perfect time to stop before I do anything else. In the next episode, what we are going to do is we're going to go get a sale for this guy right here. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. What's interesting is that you can actually attack the King of Red Lions. There's very few characters that you can attack. No, I don't want to talk to you. There's only a few characters that you can attack. But I'm going to um, go to this. I'm going to get a sale for him in the next episode. Um, goodbye for now.